All right, Chris, we're looking at this uh, chicken pen here. Uh, what is this, about 40 feet across or so? 40 feet in diameter? Yeah. All right. And uh, how long have they been right here? A couple weeks. A couple of weeks, okay. They've been here too long. They've, oh, too long. All right, and how, do you, how can you tell that they've been here too long? Well, I hope you can see on the film how brown this area is. They've eaten almost everything down to the bare dirt and scratched it up. So, not only do they not have as much foraging now, but it's also really hard on the grass, so it's going to take the grass a long time to recover from that much damage. So, uh, this grass over there, well, I guess this grass is looking a little bit beat down too, but there's grass, there's yeah. still greenery. Well, there's still greenery. Aren't you going to leave them here to consume all the greenery? Well, we could, but the idea is kind of that, I mean, if you look at the kind of stomp down greenery in here and then the fresh greens out here, which one would you rather eat if you were a chicken? Well, that's I'd a... rather eat the brand new fresh lush greens. Okay, I'm, I'm with you on that. All right. Yeah. And they're always trying to get out of the fence and eat over there because I think it is a preferred healthier food for them. Um, plus the grass, the sooner we get the chickens off this, the sooner the grass will regenerate and pop back. So we need to move them. All right, so you move the fence back just a little bit. Boy, they, they seem to... They want their whoa. salad bar. Look, they just leapt on that dandelion. Yep. Yep, they were starting to work it over. They said we finished our salad bar before, and now we need some fresh stuff. If you like this sort of thing, come on out to the forums at permies.com where we talk about raising chickens, homesteading, and permaculture all the time. Steven the Slug.